So let's uh, balance this reaction, again, in acidic conditions. So here's my steps. I'll start writing my steps again, just so I keep track. All right, so what's my first step? Assign. Assign oxidation states. All right, so let's do this. Iron plus two. two. Plus two, good. Okay, so here's permanganate. So we're going to have to do a little bit of calculations here. Uh, we know that oxygen, and it is in this example, is usually a minus two. So we can assign oxygen a minus two right off the bat. Then we can figure out the oxidation on that manganese with just a little bit of math, right? So, um, Overall, the sum of the oxidation states has to equal what? Negative one. Negative one, the charge. Each oxygen is minus two, and how many oxygens are there? Four. So what plus, four times negative two is negative eight, what plus negative eight equals negative one? Seven, positive seven, good. So that permanganate, uh, is the magnesium permanganate is a plus seven oxidation state. So that's where we're going to use that hydrogen and oxygen and that last rule, sum of the oxidation states equals the, um, excuse me, sum of the, yeah, sum of the oxidation states equals the overall charge quite a bit to figure out the rest of the elements. Iron plus three. Oxidation state? Three. Plus three, good. Yes. Uh, in any molecule, polyatomic ion, uh, each atom has its own oxidation state. So oxygen in permanganate has a minus two, manganese in permanganate has a plus seven. Why would it get Because of the, the charge on the permanganate. So just look on the charge of the polyatomic ion, or if it's molecule, charge is zero. What about that manganese plus two? Plus two. All right, so let's see what's changed. Okay, iron went from a plus two to a plus three. What happened to iron? Lost, lost one electron. And then oxygen, that's gonna be in water later, but manganese went from a plus seven to a plus two. What happened to manganese? Gain five, Gain five. good. All right, so my next step, what's my next step? Um, write out the half reaction. Write out the half Good, thank you. So iron went from a plus two to a plus three. It lost electrons. That's what? Oxidation. oxidation. That's my oxidation half cell, half reaction. 2 plus goes to iron, 3 plus, plus 1 electron. And then manganese went from plus 7 to plus 5. It gained 5 electrons. What happened to it? It was reduced, reduction. So it gained five electrons to produce Mn2+. Plus. All right, my third step, again, I'm not going to have to do it now, maybe the next one. Uh, we would balance non-oxygen and hydrogen atoms. But in my half reactions, it looks like I got one iron, one iron, one manganese, one manganese. We're good. So we don't have to employ that rule just yet for that step. So a step or a rule? I guess it's a step. It says steps right there, so it's probably what I should call it. All right, and then what are we going to do? 
balance, electrons. All right, so now we can definitely see why this isn't balanced. Iron's losing one electron. Permanganate, manganese and permanganate is picking up five. Where do those other four electrons come from? Well, obviously it's not balanced yet. Okay, so how am I going to balance it? I'm going to just multiply by my half reactions by whatever I need to do. What should I do? Multiply the oxidation one by five. Multiply the oxidation one by five? Yeah, I think that's, I think that's crazy enough to work. All right, because that will give you five electrons. Five moles of iron will lose five moles of electrons. Suddenly, we're back to being balanced. Good. So let's just rewrite that down here. Five moles of two plus, iron two plus, plus permanganate. We didn't have to multiply that by anything. Again, I'm not going to write the electrons anymore. I know they're going to cancel. And I used to blame that on me having to like buy my own pens. But now that I've got the computer, maybe I could do it and I'll just erase it. I'm not wasting ink. Think about money. All right. Produces iron, five moles of iron plus three. Plus a MN two plus. All right, so now my electrons are balanced. My iron's balanced, my manganese balanced. Oxygen is not balanced. So here's what we're going to do with oxygen. Since we are in aqueous conditions, the oxygens are usually produced or form, or part of the reactant side, uh, in the form of water. Okay. So we're going to balance oxygens with waters. So how many oxygens do I have on the left side? Four. I've got four oxygens, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to balance that with four waters on the product side. And now my oxygens are balanced. But the H's aren't. But the H's aren't, OK? Yes, the H's aren't. So i got one more step. That's why we need to know whether or not we are in acidic conditions or basic conditions. If we are in acidic conditions, what that mean is also present? Oh, H, plus. H plus ions. So that's what gets involved in the uh, redox reaction. So we're just going to balance hydrogens with H plus ions that are present in the acidic conditions. So how many hydrogens do I have on the left? How many hydrogens on the left, reactant side? None. None. I don't have any. How many do I have on the right side, the product side? Eight. So what am I going to have to do? Balance it out with eight on the reactant side. 